Well, good morning and welcome to a mighty cold morning here in Bali. I'm in the Bedigal region of North Bali shooting, once again, surprise, surprise, another sunrise. Today, I wanted to cover three ways you can grow quickly, easily, and quite consistently on Instagram, especially in 2021. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice today is a little bit, uh, well, it's early. In 2021, things have really changed on Instagram for photographers. Some may think they've changed for the worse. Some may think they've changed for the better. In the last 30 days, I've grown roughly about 20,000 followers from using these three simple tips that I'm about to run you through. So let's watch the sunrise. Let's uh, get some beautiful shots here. And then let's dive into these three Instagram growth tips. So let's get into these Instagram growth tips and let's start with tip number one and that is to use Instagram Reels and before you click off, please give me a chance to explain myself. I've seen some insane growth over the last three to four months from Instagram Reels and that is arguably why I've grown so much. I've had Reels do over one, two and nearly up to five million views each, which in all honesty is insane. But there's a method to this madness and it's not just simply posting whatever, whenever, however, there are a few tips and tricks that I would love to share with you guys to make sure you're getting the most out of and taking the most advantage of Instagram Reels because the opportunity here is honestly endless. Let me explain. So by now you might have seen some real trends and in all honesty, they might not always be the best and they might not look good, sound good all of the time, but there's a reason why they're trending and believe me, they work. I had this exact mindset when I started out with Reels. I was so against putting anything up that wasn't artistic in a way or whatever the case, but I did one and that one Reel, the first one that I had posted like that, did a million views in two weeks. I saw about four to 5,000 follower growth and I was blown away. I had not grown this quickly in years. From there, I thought it was time to put my personal ego aside and just feel what the market wants. And in all honesty, this is so important just to follow the trends. Part two of tip number one is to make sure you are using trending sounds. This is arguably just as important as following the trends, but the sounds make so much of a difference. If you know anything about TikTok, you will know that TikTok drives a lot of its kind of engagement and views and reach by the sounds and Instagram Reels, while not as important, does a very similar thing. If you're following these trends, make sure to use the sounds attached to these trends as these sounds have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Reels already made under their kind of label. So it's very important to include that in your video when you post it. And part number three in tip number one is to honestly have fun with it. Not every Reel has to be a trend and not every trend you have to follow to a T and just have fun with it. Put your own spin on it. Obviously you'll be including your own photos, your own videos, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, like I said, not every video has to be a trend and you might be surprised on some of the videos that aren't trendy, might reach a few hundred thousand or even a million people. It is crazy the potential that Reels has at the moment. Honestly, Instagram is pushing it like no tomorrow. It's kind of scary how much reach you can have with Reels. It's all all organic, none of it's paid, which is the beautiful thing. And we haven't seen something like this from Instagram in a long time. All right, so I have caved and put another layer on. It is cold, and if you know me, you know I am not built for the cold at all. But moving on to tip number two, and that is to make sure you're repurposing and using your content on different platforms. Now, what I mean by this is if you're creating Instagram Reels, use them on TikTok and use them on YouTube Shorts. And if you're creating photo content, use it on Facebook and use it on Twitter. Now this might sound just a little bit strange because it's like, well, hold on, this is a video about growing on Instagram. Why would I post to TikTok or YouTube or Twitter or Facebook? Well, it's not so much about the numbers on those platforms and it's more about the community you build. If you build a strong enough community, you will see that you can easily translate any kind of audience to any platform. If you you build a really strong audience on TikTok, you'll be able to move it onto Instagram. You also make sure that you're not just putting all your eggs in one basket and going 110% on Instagram or 
110% on TikTok because if one of those platforms fails or changes, you're gonna be stuck and all of a sudden you're not going to have the following you once did. So it's really good to spread yourself wide and especially if you don't have to put any extra effort or time into the content you're creating, you can just repurpose it. It's honestly a no-brainer. All right, so I'm just about to wrap things up here. I've shot all the photos I've wanted to shoot. The light's getting just a little bit harsh now as the sun is well and truly up. So I'm gonna head to a waterfall that's about 20, 25 minutes up the road. I'm fairly keen to get here. It's been on my hit list for quite a while. waterfall than I was expecting, but it's pretty windy, pretty loud here. I'm gonna put you guys away. Okay, wow, that was more of a hike than I thought it would be. I couldn't film anything down there, it was just way too loud. You guys might have heard a little snippet of just how powerful and windy it was down there, but I didn't want to put you guys through a little talking scene with that in the background. I wanted to talk about tip number three, and that is to stay consistent, but also post high quality content. Now, I know it is incredibly hard, almost next to impossible, to create your best work every time, to create something that goes viral every time, and to honestly put hours and hours and hours into every single post. Not only is it not achievable, but it's also not worth it. So in the beginning, please take your time. Nothing's gonna happen overnight. Just stay consistent and make sure you're uploading quality content that people would actually wanna follow you for. And the beautiful thing about repurposing content is you can create content purely just for Instagram and repurpose it, like I said, to TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Twitter, possibly Facebook, and hey, maybe even Pinterest. Honestly, all of those platforms do have potential in some way or another, and honestly, it would be silly not to take advantage of it if you already have the content. So that's gonna be wrapping up today's video. I hope you've been able to take something away from this video and maybe even possibly implement some of this stuff into your own social media career or journey, and hopefully it helps you out along your path. So guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.